Yo, what the fuck is up guys? It's your boy Mr. Snowman back here today. We got another troll video on the Xbox We have finally got the adventure update and it is insane There's so much new stuff, but today I'm going over two topics number one is how to get Cinnabar pretty decently quickly uh, Pretty decently quickly Jesus Christ even a sentence So what you're gonna want to do is go inside of a club world or go inside of the hub and What you're gonna want to do is go into a u6 prime world when you go into the U6 Prime World, 90% of the map will be this biome. The biome looks like golden coins, and it looks like something I'm in right now. Now, either have a mount that has um like a rocket on it, like be either on a dragon, as of if, as for instance, I'm on Fortress. So either have a dragon or have the turtle tank mount, anything that has like basically unlimited bombs. Because I mean you, you could use bombs yourself and just keep bombing the stuff or just mining it, but I just prefer using a dragon just because it's like, you know. A little bit faster but all you have to do is go into a u6 biome and just keep farming it like the u6 will be the most frequent biome that you will actually well the most frequent portal that you'll see this biome because uh, it's specialized for that portal like the um portal literally says that this biome's name so uh definitely make sure you go over there and just keep going inside of this biome and keep grinding for them because uh you will see them there's gonna be a lot more shape zone than uh you know cinnabar but the cinnabar is the bright red stuff you'll see in the ground they only come in veins of like i seen like one to four so, from veins 1 to 4, this guy looks badass. Hello there, buddy, little feral looking ass. There we go, kill him. But, uh, from what I've seen so far, they only they are only inside of veins from 1 to 4. But if you guys are doing this the same day I am, which is Tuesday, like as you can see right here, um, you actually get, like, double mining. And if you have Patreon, you get, like, triple mining, which is really cool. So, uh, there's also a bunch of new stuff in here as well, you know. Who really cares, though? Just more mastery. But, as you can see, a vein right there. But, um, as you guys already know, Monday, obviously, or Tuesday, I mean, has, like, double mining day, triple mining day. So, it's all that good stuff as well. So, if you guys really uh, want to, I suggest really grinding this on Tuesday because you will get the most bang for your buck. It takes a lot less grinding, and, you know, you should definitely be able to get the Cinnabar you need for most of your, uh, seller gem boxes. So, it's, uh, you know, very interesting. There we go. Just found a quick vein right here as well, and another one over here. Next up on the list is going to be Stellar Ring Boxes. For you guys out there that don't know what I'm talking about, you can now make Radiant Rings and Stellar Rings. Now, a lot of people have already gone over this and talked about it before, but I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. So, what you're going to want to do is go over here to the Ring Crafting Bench. You do have to be max rank, which is around 250. So, make sure you grind a bunch of stuff, keep grinding all this stuff. It'll tell you how to level up, basically. You just got to keep grinding all this stuff, and, you know, you level up eventually. But, all I have to do is make a Celestial Diamond. This takes 10 Meteorite Fragments. Uh, 25 crystallized clouds, uh, 1,000 flux, and 5 golden souls. Very cheap stuff here, guys. It's very, you know, inexpensive if you're, like, an endgame player. If you're just starting out, the 1,000 flux might hurt you a little bit, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, but you go from there, you get 5 of those. What you go from there is you can make these radiant ring boxes right here, which you need forge radiant souls. I made 16, or I made 7 of these boxes because I had 16 souls. So... That was interesting. I got uh, one stellar ring, and I got a couple really good radiant ones, and I, you know, I put most of them at the chest. So uh, that's really interesting. Um, it basically only takes one diamond form of sight. It's the form of sight is really inexpensive. You can just buy it in the marketplace. It costs like 1.5 flux each or something like that. Um, and also, obviously, the forge radiant souls. Forge radiant souls should be going for like six or seven thousand as of right now. Um, they might even be going up more because you actually need them now. Before the update, they were virtually pointless to have. So, uh, and then bottom down here is the Stellar Ring Boxes, which cost a Stellar Forged Soul, which you get one every time you dismantle a Stellar piece of gear, and you also get 25 Cinnabar, or you need 25 Cinnabar for this, and two Celestial Diamonds. Now, I do happen to have an extra Stellar on me, so I'm going to go through and dismantle that Stellar and make yet another Ring Box, but I have to find that Stellar. I'm pretty sure I can just hop on my Ice Age and I'll have one on it, um, unless I put Radiance on. Yeah, we have a Radiant Face right here, a hat with movement speed on it. We'll get rid of this bad boy. Go back over here now onto my Nikes. This is my main character as of right now. Um, the damage modifier on this is absolutely insane. If you guys haven't watched my video on it, definitely go check that shit out because it's very interesting. Uh, dismantle all my radiance because these are pointless as shit. All right, so this is the face right here. Dismantle the face, and then you get a stellar soul. Very interesting. Never, never had that shit done before. Um, before when you dismantled that, when you dismantled stellars, you got two radiant souls. So now we can head over here back to the box, Lord of the Rings, and we will make a stellar ring. Now, I want a magic damage ring because I have yet to get one for my, um, oh, what is it? My fucking, uh, you know, gunslinger. There we go. Those are the words I'm looking for. So now you got, go inside your inventory, the Wisdom Saltair Box. Right there, boys. The Saltair Box. I had over here. Drop it on the ground and you will get a stellar ring. I got a stellar three ring with 5,695 magic damage. Okay. That's pretty insane numbers. That's, that's some good stuff right there. So now I go over here to gunslinger. Uh, I think I've, I don't even know why I have my ring. 
critical hit. I don't really need it, I don't think. Let me check out my stats. I mean, the crit hit could help out, but fuck it. So this gives me 1,305. And now we're replacing it with a 5,900 ring. Or 5,695 ring. That's insane. So there we go. Now we're 21,500 power rank. We gained, like, we gained a fuck ton of power rank out of that. Like, we gained, like, six, 700 power rank out of that. That's insane. All right, so now we go back over here to the stats. And we're rocking 176,000 mana damage, 73, and 1261. So not that good, but still. A lot of power out of one ring. The Stellar Rings are absolutely insane. They're extremely overpowered, and everybody should get their hands on one. They're not that bad. If you're going to buy, if you're going to show up, buy the Stellar Forge Souls. They do cost roughly, I want to say, 30k as of right now, when this video is going up. So if you do uh, have the money, get make sure you get your uh, hands on those. Very interesting. Or if you have extra Stellars on other characters that you're not using, definitely be able to check those out as well, because they're fucking insane, guys. Like, the, these rings, they're just... It's just incredible how overpowered these rings are. And S3 rings actually pretty rare. Uh, I'm not really sure. I think they go all the way up to S5. Maybe S4. I'm not too sure when they cap out at. Maybe even S3 is the max ring. I'm not too sure. But it is jumps, which isn't really that good. But, you know, when my, when my page runs out, I'll still have a lot of jumps. So that's really good shit as well. But that's me at for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed, as always, hit the like button down below. Because it helps your boy out a lot. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more Trove content like this. Hope you all have a great day. See you in the next video. And stay frosty, everybody.